Hey campers, Miss Angelina here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Monster Zinc popsicle stick craft. So here in a second, I'm gonna show you guys what all you need for this craft. So for this craft, you're going to need some popsicle sticks. You probably need eight to 10. I have a couple extra here. You'll need some tape, some white paper. You just need like one sheet of paper, a cup of water, some googly eyes, and some paint specifically green, purple, blue, black, and white. If you don't have paint at home, no worries. You can color your popsicle sticks with markers. You'll also need some scissors, a paintbrush, and some string. All right, so to get started with our craft, I'm gonna start out by making the bodies of both Mike and Solly. So as you guys know, Solly's pretty tall and lengthy, so what I did was I lined up, I have six popsicle sticks here. This is going to form his body. So now I'm gonna put tape across these popsicle sticks so that they all stay together. I would suggest at least putting three pieces of tape down. All right, so you can see it stays together just like so. Mike is that green circular monster. So he's a little short and stubby. So I have about four popsicle sticks here. These are a little too long for Mike's body, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break them in half to make him his stubby body. All right, so this is gonna be Mike's body. So if you're a little afraid of these pokey things down here, what you can do is grab some scissors and just kind of trim them. so that they don't get all pokey. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did with Solly's body. And we're going to put tape along the back of him and then we'll get started with painting. All right, campers, time to get started with the paint. So Mike's body's here and I have some green paint here. Solly's body is right here and I have his blue coat right here. So now what you're gonna do, is you're gonna grab a paintbrush and start painting. You wanna paint both the front and the back but just paint the front first set that aside let that dry once that is dry then you can flip it over and start painting the back all right <clears throat> so i have mike and solly's body painted both sides just like that and they're about dry and as i recall from the movie i believe that solly has some purple splotches on him so I got some purple paint and now I'm just going to simply give him some messy looking spots. So here we go. And they don't have to be perfect. I'm just really, I'm honestly just dabbing my paintbrush here. Ooh, I like these purple splotches. Time to add our eyes and our mouths to our monsters. So I have two googly eyes here for um, Solly. I almost said Mike. Um, but I do not have a googly eye for Mike because he needs a huge eye. He only has one big eye. So because I don't have a googly eye, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some white and black paint to make his big eye. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to paint a big old circle and it doesn't have to be perfect just as best as you can get it just a big circle toward one top of his head because we need room for a mouth down here and then you're gonna let that dry once the white dries then you're gonna add a black dot for his pupil and with Solly's face I'm going to glue on my googly eyes since I have them Mike's big eye, almost done. I'm going to add black here in a second, and Solly's eyes are done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Mike's pupil, and then I'm going to add some faces to them. So go ahead. If you want to, you can add a nose, a mouth, some teeth. They're monsters. They have teeth. So I'm going to get right to that. These are what my Mike and Solly turned out to be. We're almost done. So Solly's body is done here, but Mike still has some horns I'm going to add on. How I'm going to do that is I have my white sheet of paper here, really just need the tiniest sheet of paper, and I have some scissors. I'm going to cut two triangles out to make his horns, 
And then I'm just gonna tape them to the back of his pop popsicle sticks, just like this. There we go, so Mike has his horns here, as you can see. Next up, so you can keep your craft just like this, and you can stand them up somewhere, or you can make them into like a little ornament or a door hanger, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what you need is some string, or you can use some ribbon here. You're gonna need tape again and some scissors. So you really just need the smallest piece of string. Let me find where the string starts, that might help. Ah, right here. So you only need about this long here. You're gonna cut it and tape it to the back. So like I said, I was just going to cut a small piece of string lay that down and then I added a piece of tape on there to hold it. So this is where I ended up putting my Solly and Mike ornaments. For a beginner modification for Mike here would be to, if you don't have paint at home, you can always use a marker here and color just like this. It'll give you the same effect. So I would end up coloring this whole thing and you just do the rest of the steps like you would except you would use marker in place of paint. Also, I would suggest having a parent or guardian help you break the popsicle sticks in half just because they get these little pokey things at the bottom. You can always use scissors to cut them off. Or if you want to, you can just use regular size popsicle sticks and put them together. You'll just have a longer mic, but it'll sure look cool. For an intermediate level, follow the craft as I did it and you should be set to go. For the advanced level, what you guys are going to do if you would like to try this challenge out is I'm going to make this Solly here a 3D little box. So I basically put together one, two, three more regular sized Sollies just like I did in the beginning and then I broke sticks in half and put a about six sticks together. This is gonna be the bottom of the box. So these are going to be the sides and the back and the bottom. So after you paint them, you're gonna use tape to connect them as if you were putting a box together. All right, campers, so this is how my advanced level craft turned out. I went ahead and added his purple splotches. The tape holds it together pretty well. Um, I feel like painter's tape might have helped if you guys have that. He has a bottom and has a little bit of holes. It's all right, though. He still is pretty handy, though. So I am super excited with how this craft turned out. I hope you guys are, too, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!